Let's see what happens. I wonder if those PC parts sold. Let's see if they sold. Hey, it looks like they sold. Sold for 1100. Sold for 1100. 112% profit. Awesome. Look at that. We are making bank on these used computers. That's awesome. That's crazy. We are just making bank on these used machines. Let's go ahead and uh, buy that one. That one. That one. Let's buy them all. Let's just buy them all. Buy them all, get them all fixed, because we'll we'll make a ton of money. If we do it right. I did forget to rename him for the bonus. Let's get this guy's computer over here cloned. Oh, that's right. I do need the, the part to clone. Awesome. I'm excited to try out their cloning. The customer wants you to add a new SSD to their PC and clone the operating system onto it. So let's start by installing the new one. This will be easy. Installing, no problem. I've never actually cloned an SSD ever. Because I, I usually just reload Windows and end up just reloading and reinstalling everything. Because I have a USB with all the files I need to default install for everything. Now that the new SSD has been installed, let's see how to clone the operating system onto it. Let's start by installing the cloning software onto the computer. Yep. Got to put that in. Got to plug these in. Like this. cloner we can clone the operating system over to the next one and then wipe the old one that's what we could do we could wipe the old one left click to exit install install the cloning USB drive double click clone operating system This is fun. There's no way that cloning is this easy though. We need to restart the PC. Restart. I highly doubt cloning is that easy. You probably gotta, yep. Go to next drive, install. Then you can wipe the old drive and just use the, the old drive as, as like data storage and then there you go you successfully clone the OS from the original hard drive to the new SSD some customers PCs will already contain the storage device that you need to clone the OS to so be sure to check the PC stats for whether you need to buy a new part or not sweet we can actually go ahead and take this off too then they don't accidentally mess something up. Take that out, take that out. Uh, we could go all out and, and delete the system, the OS off the other part of the other drive entirely. 3D mark score of 2000. Let's get these other computers out of here. Well, hang on. Does that have two graphics cards in it? It does. Let's go ahead and get these out here on the benches. Hmm. It must be level eight to change your, oh yeah, to change that stuff. I'm not worried about those. 
To see the 3D Mark score, you need to install 3D Mark app into your USB into the customer's PC and install it. So let's go ahead and install 3D Mark on it. Let's see what the current score is at. And then let's see what it needs. Hour and 45 minutes for recording. That's, we're making good time. 3D Mark Advanced Edition. Oh. Dude, the monocle's a tad excessive. <laughs> Run 3D Mark. I can already tell you he's probably gonna need a new a new CPU. Are you gonna make me sit here through the whole thing? Cause I'm pressing escape. You're gonna make me sit here through the whole thing of 3D Mark. Okay. I guess we're sitting through the whole 3D Mark test. I guess it's it's doing the the uh, 3D Mark scores 1326. CPU score. You can find the final CPU score after running the benchmark. GPU score. Combined score. So it definitely needs a better graphics card. Because the CPU wasn't bad. Now the score is shown and is displayed here. It's known and it is displayed here. A new test will need to be done if changes to the CPU and GPU have been made. Left click to select the monitor, close, Install the part ranking. Oh, we're gonna use part ranking and we're gonna find out what it needs. I can already tell you what it needs. It needs a new graphics card. But we gotta go through this. Part ranking should be used as a rough guide only. Other factors like different memory speeds and overclocking can affect the final 3D Mark score. We need a Radeon R9 280. Yeah, see, I could I could have told you because this is what he's got now. This is what they got now. So if we want to get the score to 2,000, this is what we need. And if it had shop installed, we could literally just click this, and it would add it right to the cart. Radeon R9 280. We need the R9-280. Yep, that's the one. What the heck? Same day delivery. Let's do it, because I want to get... I want to finish this part. Take this out. I'm going to go bankrupt, because I use same day delivery on everything. This one. Plug that sucker in. Plug that bad boy in. Let's run a 3D mark test. There, now we can do other things while we're waiting for this 3D mark score to run. That guy's thing is cloned, so let's figure out what's going on with this. We don't even have to run back to the computer. We got a tablet. I'm thinking whatever that Aorus Master is. Could be the motherboard. That's the motherboard. It needs a a new motherboard, so Z590 Aorus Master. We can just do the same one. Uh, should we take our chances with the ASRock? Or, or should we just buy the same one? I think we could just buy the same one. I 
I could I could search the LGA twelve hundred. Now that I know what socket it is, motherboards. LGA twelve hundred. That's the cheapest one. No, it's not. This one is. But that's a micro. Sort by price ascending. Okay, so this one is the cheapest standard ATX size. Yeah, let's get that one. We'll have to go ahead and get that one so that it still can do both. I feel like that radiator should be right here. What's going on with this one? I think it needs a new graphics card. Let's boot it up. Yep, needs a new graphics card because it's not even displaying anything. It's not booting right either. You can see the fan freaking out. Okay. So it needs a new graphics card. A 980. I might actually have one. I have a 750. There you go, fix the graphics card. Bam. It works, it works, it works. I'm selling that thing. We didn't even spend any money on fixing that. We're running this thing up to the front. 100% chance of sale at 841. Well, we gotta we gotta name it so that we get a bonus. New cables is an extra 50 bucks. 50% labor. Mark two. It's not really the Mark two. Now it'll go at 916. So I bet if we sell them at 1100. 79% chance of sale at 1100. Mm. That one with the dual graphics cards better sell at at least 1100. What the heck, let's put it up. Then this one. Man, we're gonna have to rip this whole thing apart. The whole thing. This one is done. Awesome. So now we can put this computer back together. Moving this one up to here. This one's going to go on the bench, so it's the first one I do. And then the next one can go on that other bench in there. Awesome. I'm gonna scroll through the prices. It's the Ryzen. I'm pretty sure I have a Ryzen core. It's broken though. So yeah, I do have a Ryzen core, but it's broken. Let's buy a Ryzen 3 could just go out right with a Ryzen 5. Eh, nah. Ryzen 3 quad core 1300X. That's the only thing, I think. And this one. 
It's the power supply. No power supply units, three dollars. If you get a power supply for three dollars, first off, don't buy that power supply. Second, buy a new one. And third, stop buying power supplies from people that you've never met. Yep. We can just... We could put this used 450 watt in there, I bet. I bet we can. It's only 100 watts less, it's not like... Unless it doesn't boot. So like, unless it doesn't boot, we shouldn't have a problem. Connect the graphics card. Connect everything to power. Start it up. It says incomplete case now. Hey! We got another one up and running without even doing anything. Let's put this one out on the sale. And we can just name it. Mark three, 825, I know. It's because I went cheap on that one. 950, I'm changing the price to 950, and we're, let's see the probability. Yeah, 950, I like that price. This one, we had to order 3300X for it. Oh, we need the 3300X. It's a good thing I double checked. I mean, AMD just makes everything on AM4, so. I mean, they make everything on AM4, so. It's, it'll be easy. I gotta check out those computers. Uh, accept that job. I'm not even gonna look. Bongle, Bongle. Bongle is a review site where your customers will rate you and leave your feedback, both good and bad. You can see that your current rating out of five stars is at the top, which is four and a quarter, awesome. A better rating will make more varied and lucrative jobs available. Install the app to see what your customers are saying about you and try to keep them happy. So basically, we get to look in, see what they hate, see what they don't hate, see what they like, see what I need to improve on. That's a, that's a cool feature. Customer reviews are fickle things and people are not always upfront about what they want. Keep an eye on what the customers say in their emails as they'll often mention hidden objectives. Now comes the hidden objectives. Now you tell me. Make sure you do a good job or your bongle rating could suffer. The thermal app uh, lives on your tablet and can be used to detect overheating components inside of a computer. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Place motherboard and the power supply. Uh, paint it purple and apply stickers. Don't you don't customize glass. Huh? Ah. Replace motherboard, replace power supply. Is it going to tell me the parts? It does give me a parts budget. $300 for a parts budget. Hmm. 
PC stats. There we go. So he just replaced power supply. Add to basket. Oh, that is a cool feature. I love that. Love that. Replace motherboard. Bingo. 270. We stayed within budget. Bingo. Paint the case purple. Apply stick apply a heart emoji stickers to the case. And don't put it on the glass. Alright, cool. I gotta order it from the shop first. And then go to the email. Run it through. We're doing good. We're making some good money. And we're about ready to make a lot more money selling these computers. Let me turn the light back on. Did we sell? We sold one. That one for 950 we sold. We didn't sell that other one yet though, did we? No, we didn't, because it's still here. 1,100. 79% chance of sale. Yeah, let's take $100 off. Set it at $1,000. Or not $100. Jeez, $100? Anybody would be buying that. 90%. 1050 85% Yeah, let's sell it for a thousand. What's 50 bucks? Now now it'll definitely be sold by tomorrow. And you, let's do you right away. We're going to take you and disassemble everything about you. You, you were first on my list last night, so we are going to take you all apart, take everything out, everything that we need to take out, and we will fix you up. Ah, we got to take the RAM out. Plug that. Take out the motherboard. And for some god-given reason, it took the standoffs with it. So all of our parts just came in. Cool. Let's fix this guy's motherboard first. It was this one. Oh, that's M.2 storage. That right there. Uh, nope. This one. That should be socket slot one. Memory. Eight gigs. CPU. Put that sucker on. Thermal paste. Right here, right here, right here, right here, and a blob right in the middle. Then you smear it so it looks good. And I think that they should have had the radiator up top, like that. There we go. Much better. Otherwise, you just have a really expensive vacuum down here. Six fifty watt power supply back there. Let's take all the cables out because you get new cables. You get a bonus for that too. Graphics cards. Nine seventy. Yeah, he was doing duels with the nine seventies. What in the hell? PCI cover. Can we put a PCI cover right there? Why can't we put one there? 
That's dumb. Now, why can't we put one there? Put the top panel back on. Dust filter. And now the top panel can go, no, don't put the top panel back on. I think the top panel is what holds it. Gotta get everything plugged in so we can boot it. And there, I think she's ready to boot. It's got an SSD and a big hard drive. Yep, it booted. And she boots up, so we are gonna go ahead, move her to the front. Put that sucker in the window because that is an amazing Sells at 11 or 1066. So let's try 1200. That's a pretty good chance to sell at 1200. Let's do it. Ninety-four percent to sell at 1200. Oh, we're gonna increase the price even more. 1400. We can start it at 1400, I think. I think we could get a really good chance to sell it at $1,400. If not, I'll knock a Hondo off of it tomorrow and we'll see what happens. This one, you. Oh God, what is this? It's sideways. I can't even see what's going on. That's right, it needed the new CPU. That's a tiny, that's a really cool way of building a compact machine. Yeah, <laughs> talk about 90 degrees. Ninety degrees temperature and ninety degrees sideways. Whew. CPUs CPU is broken. And thermal paste here we go. It's not sufficient. Don't tell me there's a sufficient amount of paste. Don't tell me. We could have put it down there. He's got some, those are some big fans. What is that, a 140? I think those are one, 120, 140 millimeter fans. Those are some big fans. Big, big fan. Never seen a computer with a 140 millimeter fan in it. Yep, works. The side panel back on, turn it off. Yeah, but if we add another name. If we add another name, yeah, it's gonna sell again. 94%, 1200. There's some serious computers, you guys, come get them. Real machines. We don't have anything else back here. We don't, so we can do the rest. Customize and fix. This will be easy. Case mod. And this one is at 
here. We can just put it here. And then we can work on right beside each other. Take that out. Does need the motherboard replaced, right? Yep. Just take the CPU out. Don't even clean it. Just take it out. Are you going to make me take the standoffs now, are you? Why do we need to take the standoffs off? We don't need to take out the standoffs. New. See, I'm using the same motherboard, so we shouldn't need to take standoffs off. But it's only game. Not sufficient. I hate how it says it's sufficient right there. Sufficient? Yeah, sufficient enough. I think we got to put that in there. Connect everything. Connect that big 24 pin. Am I missing anything? Let's go ahead and see. I am, I'm missing the graphics card. I'm laughing at myself so hard because I'm staring right at it saying I'm missing something and then I'm like are we missing something? There we go. No RAM. I knew we were missing something. No problem. Easy fix though. RAM. Now it'll work. Some fancy RAM we got there. Done. Your computer's fixed. I hope you're happy. And we just gotta mod this dude's case. Paint it purple. And he said not to do the glass, so we won't do the glass. That's a nice purple. What the heck just happened? Why is this purple up top different? Different looking. Maybe it's the light? They need a second, um, IT expansion for this. They need to put the IT expansion in here. Food, games, bumpers, emojis. Uh, heart emoji? That's down at the bottom. Right on the front. And we need a big one like this. And we can't do the glass. So we can 
do one here. And we can do another one like that. Perfect, I like that. No! No! That's not what I wanted to do. I gotta redo all my hard work. Let's just do a big one like this, as tight as we can fit it on there. As flush as we can get it. Bam! It's done now, right? Yep, it's done. We get everything. Should have gotten everything. Collect. Collect. New bits and parts. Oh, they got more. They got more computers already. Installing software. This customer also wants you to install some software on their PC. You can find all the different software you need for this type of objective on your USB stick. Let's go ahead and accept these. Diagnose the problem. This job requires you to figure out what's wrong with the PC before being able to just order parts. There is one thing I want to do. Boggle. And then when we took my PC in to be fixed this morning, only to find out the place was literally on fire. Terrifyingly. Terrificially unprofessional. Don't they realize how busy people are? My only complaint is that my PC came back too clean and I had to dust the rest of my room to match. <laughs> they fixed my machine while I waited and gave me a cup of tea too. I'm going to knock off just one point because the mug was chipped. The mug was chipped. Ah. I don't like people like you. We're getting good reviews. That's good, I'm happy. As much as I love this, I loved playing this. This was great, this is great, and I will definitely be playing more. This is a fun game. I cannot wait to see what they bring because they said that they are already working on another update for it. I can't wait to see the DLC they're gonna bring or any other type of things. It says, call your mom. I just noticed that says call your mom. Yeah, if you if you really like, hit the like button, man. Down below the video, all you gotta do, click. Let's me know if you like it. I love this. We will definitely be playing more of this.